Hey guys, welcome back to Going Gonzo's Keto Quick Tips. This is Keto Quick Tip number 14. It's one I've already stressed before, but I think it's pretty important, so I'm going to go ahead and address it again and, and further explain myself. And it's about exogenous ketones. It's, it's one of those things where if something's too good to be true, it probably is. Okay? And, and in the fitness field and in, in the diet field, this has been pushed so many more times than, than you can imagine. There's always been this secret pill or this, this you're going to lose weight in, you know, 90 pounds in 90 days or some weird, weird uh, gimmick out there trying to get you. Okay. Back in 2015, I, I started doing the weight loss again and I got into uh, the keto diet really strong. From, 2015, from February of 2015 to December, I lost nearly 120 pounds. I went from a size 48 pant down to a size 34. I knew that the diet was working and I was really into it. I was really pushing it and people were noticing. Okay. Now, I then saw an ad for exogenous ketones. I'm not going to name the company, but there's, there's a few of them out there. And what happened was that person told me all about how this, this could help, help you with, to stay in ketosis. In case you ever fell out of ketosis, this would bring you right back in within 30 minutes. Whoa, there's the, you know, there's the, uh, the catch that people can eat badly and still be in ketosis. It's not possible. You have to eat properly and you can't have a cheat day. That's what I've been stressing on this before. Now, with the, the ketogenic diet, there's one way of getting in ketosis and that's getting rid of all the carbs and sugars from your liver. Now, if you're having cheat days, you're putting carbs and sugars into your liver. So you're never going to get into ketosis. Um, and the only way to actually truly be in ketosis is to actually get rid of those carbs and sugars. And that's with time. Your body has to utilize them in order, be, in order for your body to then start processing the fat and put you in ketosis. Okay, um, these exogenous ketones, you drink them and they go into your blood system. You check your blood and of course it's going to look like you're in ketosis because you have ketones in your blood but it, those ketones are made outside your blood now i stopped losing weight um on the on the on the diet and i th and i thought i was just plateauing when i started taking those exogenous ketones i i didn't put two and two together because i thought for sure this stuff was working because all the all the hype behind it and all the you know, the blood tests I was taking and I was like, yeah, I'm in ketosis. Everything's working out. But um, I stopped losing the weight and then I got sick. Okay, I, I got an appendicitis, which was unrelated to the ketone diet. And, and uh, so thinking that it wasn't the exogenous ketones, I, when I started the diet again in September the 1st, I went back to them. And I wasn't lo and I and I lost the the initial water weight that you lose on the keto diet, but I wasn't losing the weight like I was in 2015. So I started looking into it. I watched numerous videos on it. I went into more studies. I went to, you know, I I went with a more optimistic point of view, or pessimistic, whatever you want to call it. And I realized that exogenous ketones are a scam. Okay. It's literally a scam. Unless you're an elite athlete, the exogenous ketones are not going to do what, what they claim to do. They do not get you into ketosis. What they'll do is they'll put extra ketones in your body so that you have extra ketones to burn. That's it. But if you're not in ketosis already, you're not taking away your own fat and you're not putting ke your own ketones in your body. Okay. All you're doing is putting out of body created, which is what exogenous means, ketones, uh, energy made from fat into your body. That's it. So how are you losing any body fat if you're putting in ketones that are made outside your body into your blood system to be used? You're not. Okay. You have to get rid of all those carbs and sugars in your liver for your body to get into ketosis to make ketones so that you have your own energy built up inside you. That's the only way for the keto diet to work. That's it. It's not that hard. It's not, it's, it's, you just don't, there isn't a pill out there or a powder out there that's going to give you a, a, a magical feeling of, uh, of, of grandeur, okay? So please, please 
Don't be scammed by these places. They got they have pyramid schemes. They have money marketing things. They tell you, oh, you're gonna you're gonna pay for your own supplements, but the supplement is garbage. It's not it's not in ketosis. It's not a ketosis pill. Okay. Um, I've I've recently gotten rid of the ketone uh, keto or the exogenous ketones because I fell for those. I fell for those and. I wasn't happy about it. I'm, I'm still not happy about it. And I am now gonna try to be one of the biggest advocates against exogenous ketones. I am gonna do everything I can to, to know everything about them so I could help people to avoid being caught up in that, in that uh, scam, okay? Um, the reason I do these videos is so that people don't um, get, get get suckered into things or make the same mistakes that I made. This is this is the benefit of of doing these videos and giving them out there to people is is so that they don't so that they have an easier path on the keto diet. And that's my goal. Okay? Um okay, I hope uh this video helps. Please if you have questions or comments anything, please leave them down below. And uh I'll see you next time on Going Gonzo's Keto Quick Tips. Thanks guys. Bye. Crazy bird.